The idea of 15-minute cities, first proposed by Klaus Schwab, the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum WEF, has gained increasing traction in recent years. This concept aims to create neighborhoods where essential services such as shopping and medical centers are located within a 15-minute radius, offering a more efficient and equitable way to access basic amenities. As such, several local authorities have begun considering 15-minute cities as a potential solution, Oxford, Canterbury and Ipswich have all started exploring its implementation. The idea has been met with both enthusiasm and skepticism due to the multifaceted consequences it might bring. Supporters argue that it could provide better public transport options and increased livability and sustainability, encouraging social cohesion. On the flip side, some citizens remain unconvinced about its benefits due to potential issues like gentrification or rising living costs. While proponents of the 15-minute city concept believe it could revolutionize urban life across the UK, there are still possible drawbacks that need to be addressed before implementation. Finances are the primary concern, projects of such scale would require massive investments from taxpayers that might not necessarily give them a tangible return on investment or any tangible improvements in their lives. Privacy worries are also an issue, with closer living spaces come greater chances for people's privacy being compromised by increased foot traffic or public surveillance measures. Moreover, citizens may feel deprived of autonomy if their neighborhood is controlled according to an overarching plan rather than self-managed by residents. Finally, some people may even face displacement due to new projects and developments arising from this approach. Those who live in areas chosen for renovation would be asked to move out so that these neighborhoods can be redesigned according to this model. Therefore, each must consider all of these considerations when assessing whether or not they support the idea of 15-minute cities for their locality. While there is no denying it offers numerous advantages, such as improved transportation options and more equitable access to services, considerable work is still needed to reach its full potential without adversely affecting individuals' lives or leaving taxpayers with a heavy financial burden after completion.